Hey guys, today we are going to continue our second part of kinetic particle theory and uh, that part is called diffusion. So right now the first point is to write down the heading of this topic and that is called diffusion. Sometimes examiner is asking what is diffusion? Define diffusion. Okay, so it is the movement of particles from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. So this, this is the exact definition which is required according to your paper pattern, according to your paper demand. Okay. Now, there are certain examples which examiner is quoting and he is asking that how to explain diffusion depending upon these examples. Number one thing is this that we can implement diffusion in our homes as well. For example, there is a famous Pakistani food and that is called as biryani. Whenever our mom is cooking biryani, we can smell that biryani at the gate of our home. How it is? It is the aroma of the food which is traveling from the kitchen to the gate similarly whenever our sibling is using a perfume that is giving us an indication that our perfume has been used and how it is so because the smell the fragrance of the perfume is smell is 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 felt due to movement of the particles from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration so basically these are the different examples of diffusions which are happening around us which are happening in our our homes right now the point number one which we are going to deal regarding diffusion is the factors which are affecting diffusion so number one is factors factors affecting diffusion number one is temperature whereas other is molecular mass molecular mass okay so these are the two factors which are affecting the rate of the diffusion these are the two factors which are affecting the speed of the diffusion first of all i'm going to explain about temperature how temperature is going to affect diffusion guys we know this thing that by increasing the temperature kinetic energy of the particles will be increased and hence when we are increasing the kinetic energy of the particles movement of the particles will be increased as well we can say that speed of the diffusion will be increased overall it can be concluded that when we are increasing the temperature speed of the speed of the diffusion will be increased rate of the diffusion will be increased so temperature and uh, diffusion are directly proportional to each other what is the meaning of directly proportional if we are increasing one thing other thing will be increased if we are decreasing one thing other thing will be decreased so we can say this thing that diffusion will be higher in summers whereas diffusion will be lower in winters it can be said as well okay so i'm changing the page and number one thing is that diffusion is directly proportional to temperature and i have told you that uh, by increasing the temperature increasing temperature arrow higher kinetic energy kinetic energy higher will be the movement of the particles higher will be the movement of particles and higher will be the rate of higher will be rate of diffusion is it okay so we can say this thing that by increasing the temperature rate of diffusion will be increased now there is an other step now there is another factor 
which is equally effective on the on the diffusion and what is that it is called as molecular mass here i'm going to introduce you with the term of molecular mass okay let's consider carbon carbon is written like this in the periodic table now what is periodic table periodic table is the symbolic representation of elements in which each of the element is represented by its own symbol and it has two figures attached with that symbol one of the figure is representing the atomic number or it is also called as the proton number or it is as called as well the electron number so electron number proton number and atomic number is the same thing okay whereas the other figure is representing the other number is representing the mass number or nucleon number or mass number or relative atomic mass so i am going to write all these terms with this right now i'm going to erase this and i'm going to write it down in a bigger way okay you can see this thing this is c and this is 6 and this is 12 okay here we are going to change the color okay so what is this 12 telling you it is telling you about the atomic mass atomic mass the other term is mass number another term is nucleon number and the next term is atomic mass mass number nucleon number and that's it okay or you may say sum of protons plus neutrons as well okay what about this lower number this six okay what this is telling you this is telling you either proton number then it is also called as electron number or it is also called as atomic number whereas what about this this is called symbol of the element So this is the total information which is associated with any element in the periodic table okay so one should know this thing what is atomic number what is proton number what is neutron number what is uh, the term nucleon number mass number etc etc guys we are going to make the practice of all these things when i am going to teach you the topic of atomic structure inshallah in detail shortly but right now i am just telling you what is the effect of molecular mass on the rate of diffusion so here you should know this thing that what is molecular mass so this is called as the atomic mass when we are talking about the mass of a single atom of an element it is called as the atomic mass rather the exact term used for this is called as the relative atomic mass okay whereas the sum of the atomic masses either the elements are similar or either the atoms of uh, the similar element are taken or the atoms of the different elements are taken in that case it is called as the relative molecular mass so relative atomic mass is the mass of an atom of an element whereas relative molecular mass is the sum of the mass of the atoms of the same element or the atoms of the different element okay so whenever single thingy it is called as a relative atomic mass whenever more than one things together either similar or different then it is called as the relative molecular mass let's consider this thing okay so we know this thing that uh, it is uh, depending upon the mass that whether the diffusion will be higher or lower it is a very very uh, clear evidence that it is a difficult thing for a heavier for for a heavier uh, thing to move it is a difficult case for a heavier thing to move whereas it is a simple thing it is an easier process for a lighter thing to move so in the same way when a substance has higher molecular mass it is difficult for this to move so higher is the molecular mass 
lower is the kinetic energy lower will be the rate of diffusion lower is the molecular mass higher is the kinetic energy higher will be the rate of diffusion so it means we can say this thing that molecular mass is inversely proportional to diffusion molecular mass is opposite to diffusion they are moving in opposite directions okay so we can say this thing that mr mr is representing molecular mass mr is inversely proportional to diffusion okay mr is inversely proportional to diffusion we can say this thing higher is the mr lower is the diffusion okay so here for example let's consider an element this is called nitrogen nitrogen has 17 14 it means not 17 sorry nitrogen has 7 14 what is 7 7 is the atomic number of nitrogen whereas what is 14 14 is the atomic mass of nitrogen okay let's consider now nh3 what is nh3 it is called ammonia i am writing the formula nh3 and now i am writing the name it is called as ammonia guys here i am writing about hydrogen as well hydrogen is an other element in the periodic table it has an atomic number of 1 whereas it has a mass number of 1 as well okay same yes it is a possibility that they can be same okay now let's consider what is the atomic mass i am writing here ar what is ar stands for relative atomic mass what is ar of nitrogen it is called 14 whereas what is ar of hydrogen it is called 1 okay now we are going to calculate the a uh, mr value for ammonia okay mr value for ammonia will be like this okay you can see it over here okay so for nitrogen we can see it is nitrogen 14 i am writing here 14 how many times nitrogen is there one time so i am writing nitrogen for one time so 14 will be taken as once okay what whereas what about hydrogen it is for three times so it is 1 plus 1 plus 1 okay so i have taken their atomic masses and how many times the element is given over there i have just taken that now i am going to take the sum of that whole thing and what is the sum of that whole thing it is 7 it is 17 we can say this thing that relative molecular mass it is a mr value i am writing over there relative molecular mass of ammonia is 17 whereas relative atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 relative atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 whereas relative molecular mass of ammonia is 17 okay let's have another example okay I am telling you how to calculate the relative molecular mass of Cl2. Guys, this is Cl2 formula, and what is the name of this? It is called as chlorine. I am writing here. It is called chlorine. Okay, chlorine gas. Okay, if I am paying attention on chlorine how chlorine is written in the periodic table it is written like this it is 1735.5 it is 1735.5 okay now we can say this thing that what is the ar value of chlorine it is called 35.5 it it can be in points as well yes it can be in points as well and what is the difference between points and the whole figure that all mystery will be unlocked when i will teach you the topic of uh, atomic structure in detail inshallah but right now i'm just uh, trying to bring your attention in the periodic table, table where chlorine is written its atomic number is 17 whereas its mass number is 35.5 okay you can see this thing that its uh, atomic mass is its atomic atomic number is 17 whereas its atomic mass is relative atomic mass is 35.5 okay i have told it to you now we are going to look into the fact how we are going to take it for uh, chlorine it will be 35.5 plus 35.5 and the total will be 7 21 so what is this 71 it is called as relative molecular mass mr okay so differentiate between ar and mr very clearly ar is the relative atomic mass of a single atom whereas mr is the relative molecular mass of more than one atom this more than one atom can be of the same element this more than one atom can be of the different elements as well okay i am now going to give you certain examples related to diffusion process okay move on to the next page okay guys here this is example number 1 this is example number 1 
let's consider this tube i am giving you an example of this tube this is one of the favorite example of uh, examiner here i have one cotton plug whereas here on the other side of the tube i have another okay i am taking this here for example this is um, ammonia here and this i'm saying it is c point here d here b here and a here okay we are saying that one of the cotton plug is soaked in ammonia whereas the other is soaked in hcl okay so we should know this thing that whenever ammonia and hcl are combining with each other they are forming white colored cloud of nh4cl okay first of all i am writing the whole thing e white colored cloud of nh4cl i am writing uh, the formula name and that is called as compound name is ammonium chloride is that okay guys okay ammonium chloride this should be very very clear to you this should be this equation should be in your mind that whenever ammonia and hcl are reacting with each other they are forming white colored cloud of ammonium chloride okay now the examiner is asking where white colored cloud of ammonium chloride will be formed okay guys look at here right now we know this thing this is ammonia this is traveling from this side to this side okay this is hcl it is moving from here to here point number 1 sometimes students are asking why they are moving this is a gas ammonia and uh, this cotton plug is soaked in ammonia solution so ammonia being a gas will start traveling from the cotton plug to the other side whereas in the same way hcl is a gas which is dissolved in water as it is soluble in water a cotton plug is soaked in hcl solution and it is placed on the other side of the tube now hcl will start moving from this cotton plug to the other side okay now the point is this that at which point a a or b or c or d this white cloud will be seen now i am telling this thing to you very clearly this white cloud can be seen i am trying to take the white color as well yes fortunately i have okay where is the white cloud white cloud will be seen at point c okay how white cloud can be seen at point a c okay let's elaborate the point over there okay i am telling you that this is the distance which is covered by ammonia okay i am marking an arrow and the other distance is covered by is covered by uh, hcl i am trying to take another color okay this is a suitable color it is uh, making it clear this is the distance with the yellow color is traveled by hcl whereas the color which is traveled by ammonia is this okay we can find out an other color for this you can see i am trying to take a color okay let's take this color and uh, here all right i'm trying to take this okay this is the white cloud okay this is the white cloud you can see i'm trying to make it again so that it can be darker okay this is a white cloud now it is clearly a cloud okay you can see this thing that uh, ammonia has traveled a longer distance whereas hcl has traveled a shorter distance and why it is so guys let's calculate the mass of ammonia from the periodic table it is very clear that ammonia has a mass of 17 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so total is oh sorry this is not 17 this is 14 i am telling you here first of all this is 14 for nitrogen whereas 1 plus 1 plus 1 for hydrogen so the total will become 17 okay whereas what about hcl it is 1 plus 35.5 1 plus 35.5 so the total will be 36.5 
and we can say this thing that hcl being uh, heavier in mass has travel a very shorter distance whereas ammonia being lighter in mass has traveled a longer distance okay so this is the reason this is the reason we can say that ammonia is traveling longer distance hcl is traveling shorter distance that's why a white colored cloud of nh4cl is forming at point c is that okay guys so this is the detail related to example number 1 rest of the three or four examples related to diffusion will be discussed in the next class and uh, further explanations related to diffusions will be given in the next class okay